crispy coil. We got another video. Right now it's uh, Thursday, thirsty Thursday out there for all you uh, weekend warriors getting things started off. Um, we're in the crib right now. I got a day off from work. I'm at my spot in the lab as usual. About to do a video. Do a little something different in this video. Um, it'll probably get like three views because like, you know, I don't think I'm showing any Nikes at this point. But it's all good, man, and uh, let's get it. You know what I'm saying? First, I'm going to review this water bottle. Um, you see you got the uh, the purple-pink, uh, it's kind of like a, a patent, I guess you would say. You got the uh, the straw inner, uh, the guts, the lining, and then you got the toe cap, black. It has this little pop-up feature. Not my plan. Let's get it. First of all, we're going to do some gear. I know people don't really like when I do gear, but... This is who I am. This is what I do. Polo Ralph Lauren. This is not Polo Jeans Company. This is the real deal. Low. Um, you got Polo right here. And the cool thing about this is you take this off. And it has an address right here. And you mail this back to them. And they reuse it on another pair of jeans. Uh, so this is like really old. Um, it's cool man. If you keep doing it, people will keep getting it. So this one's like kind of stained and shit. But, um, I think that's a really dope idea, so I'm going to send these, these back. But, um, yeah, it's a basic jean, you know what I'm saying? I look into my daughter's eyes. Anyway, the, um, the quality of these jeans, this has a button fly, I just noticed that. But the quality on these jeans is crazy. Even the little plugs have RL on the back. Where drunk nights get remembered more than sober ones. <laughs> All right. Polo. Uh, another one right here. These uh, are a different fit. Has a little RL joint right here. Um, and also it has one of these dips right here. This one looks a lot cleaner though. Uh, maybe this one's like newer or something. Yeah, there's definitely no stain on this one. And uh, let's see what these Johns look like right here. I guess these are a little bit darker. It's a different fit too. But um, like the quality on the stitch work is insane, man. I mean, you get what you pay for when you buy jeans. Polo Ralph Lauren Company. Anyway, I say anyway a lot. Somebody pointed that out. All right, so that's two pairs of jeans, guys. Gotta have polo jeans, man. Some of the nicest jeans I've ever owned. So if anybody wants to know what a good pair of jeans to get is, get some polo. Alright? Oh, I got one more thing here. Shout out to all my jersey heads. Throwback King, motherfucking A-Rock, uh, Mighty Mouse, all these dudes that do the jerseys and shit. I got my little collection. This right here is an Astros, Mitchell and Ness. Nolan Ryan piece. Uh, it's got the silver anniversary patch right here. And uh, yeah, just picked this up. And I love the, the old school, the, the sleeve right here with the, the different colors. Double stitched. I love the pullover baseball joints without the buttons. My favorite kind of jersey besides basketball jerseys. Three DVDs or Blu ray, I said DVD. Minority Report, right here. This is where I see myself in five years doing this kind of shit. You know what I mean? Solving murders before they even are thought of. That's what I'm going to be doing in like five years, I think. Tropic Thunder, classic flick. Ben Stiller, uh, man, what a, what a funny ass movie, man. If you guys ain't seen this, check this shit out, man. Great flick. And Star Wars, the collection. Dun, dun, dun. I'd never seen Star Wars growing up. I wasn't a Star Wars kind of dude. But I saw that this was coming out on Blu-ray. And I wanted to check it out, man. I see what the hype's all about. I wanted to open this up for you guys. It has the first three flicks with this dude. I heard his name was like Garth Brooks or something. Then you got this joint, number two, Attack of the Clones. Three, Revenge of the Sith. I never saw any of these. I'm just watching this new one, uh, The New Hope. That's the original Star Wars with um, the dude from The Fugitive, <laughs> uh, Han Solo right here, uh, 
Kind of looks like my ex-girlfriend's mom. Um, Empire Strikes Back. You got Darth Vader. Uh, anyway, yeah, Return of the Jedi. And then you got a couple extra joints, and I don't know what that's all about. This is me and my boys on a Friday night outside of the bar. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to check this out. Dude, here's my class picture from high school. It's so hot, packed with action, that's affirmative, the corner. Alright, here's the sneakers. New Balance MB. Um, shout out to Dallas Penn, Blue Cheese, uh, Internets, Internet Toes. Um, yeah, I saw his videos, man, and uh, I used to rock New Balances all back in the day. Um, this is something all me and my boys rock New Balances, man, around the time of Tribe Called Quest and... Uh, you know, um, guest jeans, and, and uh, when we were younger, man, we used to rock like, uh, you know, Tommy Hill, Nautica, uh, Polo, that kind of thing. New Balances was our shit, man. So, uh, yeah, this right here is a chicken. Uh, some of you people might have, have, you know, eaten chicken before or like raised chickens and shit. Um, yeah, it says the New Balance name originates from the humble surroundings of a chicken yard. In 1906, the founder observed the perfect balance of a chicken's three claws and used that as an inspiration when designing his arch support, believing they could deliver new balance to his customers. Oh, new balance! Create your own new balance by cutting out these shoes and, uh, and, then, cu and then cut out the chicken and congratulations, you've cooked up your own customized new balance chicken feet. So yeah, this is some really crazy shit when you buy shoes from England. I think that's supposed to be like a joke. I don't know, Mighty Call, uh, the game, my homie the game, uh, 59, yo, let me know, is that is that like a thing you guys do over there? <laughs> some shit? Anyway, 1300 is my favorite New Balance silhouette. It's my favorite New Balance uh, model. That and the 1400. Uh, I love them, man. Um, inside right here, it explains what I'm going to show you in a second. Um, talks about how the chickens have perfect balance with their three toes, and it looks like it right there. You see one, two, three. It's a really ill, uh, like, concept or an idea when you're thinking about a chicken. You know, like, Nike uses Michael Jordan, and New Balance uses, like, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken. So, let's get it. Man, these are so fucking sweet. Anyway, I'm um, really happy with these joints. You got this little New Balance tag right here. Just look at them, dude. Man, and of course it says a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, the more a brand uh, shouts, the less you listen. Quality, treading our own alternative path since 1906. This pair of New Balances have been made by the skilled craftsmen at the uh, Cambrian factory in Northwest England. Uses only the most premium and fresh ingredients available. Um, as you see, uh, it has like a 1300 and a little New Balance tag on the front right here from England. Um, inside, the craziest thing is, I don't know if you hear this. It has like this like vinyl, or not vinyl, like a really smooth, it's almost like a leather inner. Uh, the lining on the back you have the leather new balance and this navy blue new buck is unbelievable it's super duper soft you have a really uh, like a grayish mesh right here you have these it's almost like a like a purplish I don't know what color that would be anyway you got a uh, it looks like a white maybe like a 3m or a uh, leather end, and it's got the, the purple joint in the background, and uh, yeah, it's a simple shoe, man, if you guys aren't in the New Balance, this is my thing I'm saying, if you're a sneakerhead, you need to have a pair of 1300s or 1400s in your stable, you just have to, like, uh, I, I don't see any way around it, like, um, you got to be able to pull these out on like a rainy Thursday, like today, I would just pull these right out the closet, hook it up with these jeans, Boom, throw on any kind of shirt, and then bong, you got a fucking outfit. You know what I mean? It's simple. Like, and inside here, let me pull this jump out. It's got that crazy chicken foot thing. <laughs> They're not... Here it is right here. It's like a, a, a panel or something. I, I can't really uh, explain it, but 
it's like this weird material. Feels like when you were younger and you needed arch supports and your fucking family took you to a doctor and he gave you these like crazy ass like orthopedic joints. Um, I guess you didn't have them if you weren't a fat dude, but when I was young buck, I, they used to call it husky. I used to go shopping for clothes. All the other dudes had the fly gear. I had husky joints. You know what I mean? At the time, I was rocking, like, you know, alligator and latigre shirts, and I thought they were whack. And it turns out now Lacoste and, and latigre are kind of hot. So I was styling back then, but I thought I was whack. So it's kind of weird how that works. Anyway, you got the Astros joint. You got the two pairs of low jeans. Um, you got the, the three Blu-rays, and you got the pair of New Balance. Man, you got the end cap midsole, um, and a new balance, you got the, the heel cup right back here, I love these shoes guys, I can't explain to you how much, actually you probably can understand how I'm talking about them, but um, I'm on my new balance shit guys, the quality I just got for the money I paid, I'm really happy with, um, so check out a pair of 1300s, tell them Crispy sent you, alright, and if anybody wants to know where I picked these up at, hit me up, um, I'm not trying to put it on blast, because I want to get a couple more pairs of different colors, um, and they're a good price, and I'll probably sell out, so, anyway, yeah, gotta love it, guys, alright, it's your boy, Crispy, you know what time it is, it's time for me to send this video out, so, to everybody out there in the shoe game, I really appreciate all the videos that you guys do, I'm steadily watching them, um, you know, I, I, I like everybody's vids, you know what I'm saying, it's, uh, it's a really cool community, and, uh, you know, it's, it's really decent, so, um, I always want to give shout-outs, but I always forget, but Burzen Drones, my homie, uh, been talking to him a lot on there, his sneaker game is so official, he just got some Tolaria boots, and uh, a pair of Star Wars Adidas, that I was actually, I'm not big into Adidas, but the uh, the new hand Solo joints are, are really cool, man, and um, I'm actually thinking about picking up a pair, so uh, tell me what you think about Adidas, man, I'm starting to get away from, from Nike, and uh, yeah, Burzen Drones. Burzum Drones, so uh, the, the, his name will be down here in, in uh, the description, you know, like right down here, so just take your eyeballs and peel them downwards, you know what I mean, hang your eyeball on that, but um, yeah, so uh, everybody else out there, man, you know, keep doing your thing, and uh, until next time, same crispy time, same crispy channel, Philadelphia's finest, you know what I mean, from PA all day, alright, so um, until the next pickup, crispy. You know what I mean? Like a bag of Fritos. Alright. Later.